Hi, I'm Dan Costa, he's Brian Westover, and we are here with the best of CES winners. This winner is the MakerBot Replicator Mini. There were a lot of 3D printers at the show, but this was obviously the one that we named the best. Yeah, like you said, there were a lot, but this is the best for a few reasons. Number one, it's affordable. It's under $1,400 for a 3D printer, that's impressive. Uh, also impressive, it's got a large build area, 75 cubic inches, and high resolution, like 200 microns, I think it was. Um, but what's really impressive is how much easier to use it is. You don't have to be a 3D printing enthusiast to get into 3D printing now. Um, yeah, we've been, I mean, we've been covering 3D printers since the first batch came out, mm -hmm. and we've always sort of had the caveat, like, don't dabble in this if you don't want to get your hands dirty. They're a little complex. This solves some of those problems. It does. Um, this has, you know, components you can switch in and out without using tools. They just hook in with magnets. Uh, Software-wise, drivers are all in place. It's got broad compatibility. There's even some cloud options. You can hook it up to your tablet. Um, and there are a lot of easy-to-use features. You can hook it up just like a regular printer. Uh, it has something called auto leveling and, and filament pausing. If you don't know what that is, you don't need to anymore. Um, it, it makes it a lot more accessible. Yeah, pretty great. This is the revolution actually coming to fruition. You can check more about it on PCMag.com, the MakerBot Replicator Mini.